Hello and welcome on DDS, DDR programming channel. Today we'll talk about the package dplyr and more specifically, we will talk about the function group by. During this tutorial, we will use the dataset iris. To use iris, you just have to type the iris uh, word in your console. And in my case, I will assign it to the variable df. And then we'll load the package dplyr. Group by, just like all the other function in dplyr, should be used by first giving it the df or your data frame and then giving it a series of arguments depending on the types of grouping you need and so let's say that in this first case that we want to have a simple grouping by species so when we group by species it means that several operation in dplyr will be done over grouped and will be done differently because it will take this grouping into consideration and so let's assign our grouping into the variable df1 and so in this case it says uh, it didn't find species and this is because we need a capital letter two species so our df1 is the same it has the same number of rows same number of columns except that there are some attributes and the attributes here are the classes and so that means that our data frame now has become a tbldf uh, don't worry about it this is just the way that uh, dplyr can tag your data frame uh, to know how to work with it next just below that we have uh, our row grouping and so you see here that we have a list of three and then we have some integer those are actually the positions of the rows that should be assigned to each of the three groups we have three groups in this case because the species uh, column had a factor with three levels and so it was grouped in three groups so why do we group and the best way to see it might be with another function uh, for which i will do a more detailed video and so you can just click here on the link to go to this video so the thing we can do so i won't save the results of those manipulation but let's summarize our df1 and you will see that if we summarize our df1 and then we let's uh, let's get a mean for that summary uh, and so if i i save the column my mean and then i do a mean of the column sepal length you see that if i do a summary in this summary the function mean was applied to each groups and so we have a result for the species setosa we have a result for the species versicolor and for virginica and we have the three different means what if i want a different group so i can just do another group by a uh, group by over the df1 so that's the data frame that was uh, previously grouped in and let's say that i want to group it by sepal length smaller than six this has grouped our data into two groups the rows with sepal length below six and the rows with sepal length above six if we save that into df2 and let's run the same summarize but this time over df2 and now you see that it has summarized over two groups and in the, this case is the true or false whether it was true true that it was below six or above six and you see that we have given uh the df1 to this group by but uh, it forgot about it and so what that means is that whenever you do a group by on the data frame it it resets or deletes the previous grouping if we had wanted to keep both groups we can do both species and sepal length by only separating with a comma and so if i rewrite that save and you see now that we have several groups and so for each versicolor and virginicana we have true or false and for setosa we actually only had sepal length below six what if i want to now have a normal summarize over my variable df2 but i don't want any groups and so that's easy you just have to use the function ungroup so you can do ungroup df2 save that uh, to df3 for example and then let's give that once again to our function summarize so here you see that it has done a mean over all of the, the all of the rows i hope you enjoyed thanks for watching